welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, uh, before I get started, the first thing I should say is that it is very possible that you will be hearing my air conditioner in the background. I am going to use Audacity to do the best job I can of removing that sound, but turning the machine off is not an option. It has gotten bloody awful hot, and uh, it's not something I can deal with. So, anyway, you may recall the purpose of this building. This would be where I developed the demo model of the shuffler. And you'll notice it's not here anymore. That's because I have finally, finally, finally gotten that thing installed. And, uh... Yeah, there it is. It's finally in. And uh, I'm sure somebody will say, well, you know, you could have showed doing that. And, well, I probably could have, but there would have been over five hours of recorded video. Because that's how long it took. Five hours. Uh, some of it tonight, some of it last night. And... Uh, it was something of a nightmare to get hooked in and uh, so on. And I even got it looking all nice with all the redstone on smooth stone instead of just cobble or whatever. Except for this little bit that's on here because this floor is also the ceiling and using stone there would make it look bad down below. But uh, yeah, the thing is in. It will shuffle the cards and uh, I've got this circuit here set up sending a redstone signal into this hopper to lock it so that uh, it won't take items in and it won't deliver anything as long as that signal is on and there is a push button down in front of the dealer at the table well there's two things down here this turns on the shuffler and starts it going there's nothing in it right now and this delivers one card into that chest, and that was something I was testing it with. Yeah, it works. There is one more element that I need, and that's going to be somewhere place a chest that has hoppers under it or, you know, pulling from it and sending the cards back up on top of the building into you know, to cycle them back into the system, into the shuffling mechanism. And uh, I'm still working on that. I need to come up with a, or find, a uh, item elevator system that will be reasonably quick and take the things out of a chest down there at the card table and uh, throw them back up here into the system and so on. But it's in and it works. And uh, like I said, I'd have recorded doing it, but I don't really think anybody is interested in a five-hour video. Or even if I were to cut it down, I, it would have been fail after fail after fail after more fail. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think it would have made a very good video at all. But I did want to let you know that the thing is finally in. And not only that, but it actually works. So once I, once the whole thing's finalized, I'll probably, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll put some kind of door here or something for uh, maintenance access. Although it shouldn't ever need maintenance. As long as all of the cards remain in the system. That's going to be the thing right there. Uh, I am going to hook up with Derp to have a uh, villager delivered here into the cashier's box. I don't know if I said that before, but I, I'm going to do that. I've just been so completely taken up with trying to figure this out. And uh, yes, I could very well have uh, gotten together with one of the Redstone savvy people on here, of which there are several, who are very very, very excellent at redstone things, and they probably could have put this together a heck of a lot faster than I. Oh, well, no probably to it. I know they could have. 
very fast. But uh, I really wanted to get this thing figured out myself. You know, it needed. I, I needed to figure this out myself. I needed to figure it out and build it and make it work myself. Because I've never been very good at redstone, and you're not going to get good at it if you don't try. If you don't just decide on something you want to do and then figure out the circuit that makes it work. You know, and by doing this myself, not only does it work, but I actually understand how and why it works. You know, it's like, uh, the push button sends the signal out through this torch tower to that one, which lights this redstone and goes over here and uh, triggers this piston. It goes up and then cuts off and goes back down again. Repeater through here. This inverts the signal so that the normal non-button push state is a redstone signal going into this hopper which locks it so it stays locked until I push the button down below and then it disengages the lock just long enough to deliver one item and that's perfect and yes there's a button on here that's for testing and uh, you know but that's the thing you see that's why I really didn't go along with all of the suggestions, helpful though they were, and well-meaning though they were. I didn't go with the suggestions that I hire up a uh, redstone consultant. I, I'll be honest with you, I did come pretty close, because this thing got me... It, it was very frustrating. It was very not good. But uh, having gotten it done, I feel a lot better for it. I figured it out, and I mastered it. And now, uh, the next step is going to be to get a uh, item elevator. And it's going to have to be out here a block or two, so that it doesn't this redstone in here doesn't interfere with it. It's going to need to take the cards out of a chest at the poker table, bring them out here, send them up above. And let's see if I can get up above. Oh... Yes, of course I can. Up here. Right where that torch is, I figure, is where a item elevator system that brings the cards from a, a box down there needs to drop them into the system here where they will then commence to be cycled in the never-ending, as long as it's turned on, shuffling system. Yeah, and I should throw a torture tree back up here. Last thing I want is a, cre uh, a creeper around. Yeah. All right, there you go. Too many torches, and it works. But that's what's been going on, and that's where I'm going next. Uh, and... Uh, I have no idea how long it's going to take to get that worked out, but it shouldn't be a five-hour nightmare that uh, the shuffler was. It was satisfying to get it done, but yes, it was a nightmare of the actual doing. Uh, one thing I am going to do is uh, see about connecting with someone who is good at interior-exterior decoration to have them come in and kind of kit the place out with the final stages of making it look good in ways that I am no good at. But, so, that's what's going on. That's uh, pretty much the update. Uh, and uh, once all of that stuff is done, I'm going to begin taking all of this crap out of here taking it back to the diamond, and tearing this whole place down. This whole thing, like I said before, it was temporary. It was never meant to look good. And I guess I can get rid of that. Yeah, 
and so on for right now. Okay, so. Uh, so, there we are. It's in. It works. There's one more piece I have to do to it to get the item delivery, the uh, card return system in place. And then I'll cart these cards downstairs and turn the system on and drop those into the item return system. And get this thing all set up. And then there will be a little bit elsewise to arrange. In the meantime, I have had about all of looking at this thing that I possibly could want for uh, quite a while. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.